This concert was done 42 years ago. It was done on April 22nd at the National Stadium, and it was Bob Marley's One Love Concert. Now, the difference between that Bob Marley One Love Concert and this One Love Jamaica concert that we're having is Bob Marley's concert was politically motivated. There was a political fight in war and peeing, peeing, jail, peeing, people killing each other, left, right, and center. This is not a political war we're fighting among ourselves right now. We're fighting an individual war. So what we're doing, we're not, it is not a peace concert because we didn't create this war. It is not a unity concert because we didn't create the division either. Mm -hmm. It is a one love concert because we know that the foundation, if it's love, then peace and unity will prevail. We have taken steps and we have confirmed international motivational speaker, William King Alice. He's only 30 years old, but why he is so important is his mother died of a heroin overdose. His father is in prison for triple homicide. He used to eat and sleep from the garbage and sleep at the busway, the subways, and every other places you can think of. And he used the teaching of Marcus Garvey, ah, self-reliance, do for oh, self. And because he used the teaching of Marcus Garvey, he is now one of the top motivational speakers in the United States of America. I can tell you this, his fee is 20,000 US dollars to speak. And when I spoke with William King Alice, a fraction, I'm talking about pennies, just to cover certain, you know, um, yeah, that's it. But other than that, he waived 99% of the fee just to come to Jamaica to raise the kings and queens and to raise the yeah. consciousness. Because my sister Denise, I believe Zosa is not working, and no, we all know. We know the uh, state of emergency is not working. So we know that those forces are not working. But we have never tried the good old-fashioned love. Let's get back to love. They're Let's bring this fire love. People, yeah. You know what I mean? So and good. also, yeah. one more thing, but yeah. quickly, we also, your friend, Jessica M. Bangini. <laughs> M. Bangini is going to be here. She's going to be here, Woo! definitely. Matter of fact, she's going to be in Jamaica for the Bob Marley uh, uh, sixth birthday anniversary, okay, there, September yes. 5th. Yes. And then she's going to fly back to the United States, and then she's going to be back here in Whoa. Jamaica for the One Love Jamaica concert. So, Jessica you, Mbangini, wherever you are, William King Alice, we love you, man. Jamaica love you. We stand ready and we await the arrival of the king and the queen. Yes, what a royal affair. Most but definitely. But then you have other artists who are performing as well. Yes. Name some of those artists who are going to be there for this one love. Sister Denise, we spoke to King Yellowman. Yes. And King Yellowman is an awesome name. Every single Jamaican know him. Mm -hmm. And when we spoke to him about what's happening with our country, man, tears rolled down his face. He said, Big Stone, I'll practically do it because I have performed in Arnett Gardens when I was a young performer ah, and sound system, yes, but yes. I never get an opportunity to perform on a stage. So this yeah. concert is headlining by none other than King Yellowman. Wow. And then, of course, Freddie McGregor. Mm. Freddie McGregor is joining force yes. with Powerhouse because Powerhouse, and, uh, I can't big him up enough, George Punk from the Garden was instrumental in helping us to acquire the stadium. Mm. And it's not a political thing, but I must big up um, the MP for the area, Mr. Mark Golden. Yes. When we present the idea of a One Love concert in the Garden, he welcomed it right, with so open it, arms. Yes. Of course, of course, something so positive. Then we have Meaningful. Peter Metro. Yeah, long time with, to Peter Metro. Mikey yes. General. Yes, yes. Ever burning torch. Uh, a newcomer that is taking this country by storm, mm -hmm. Bertus, you know, Nature Ellis, yes, Sativa yes. the Black That's One. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and guess what? That this is concert, nice. Denise, is free of all charges. You are kidding me. Not a dollar. We just want you to come in and yes, support um, the food and the bars yes, and so on. Yes. Because the proceeds from this concert is going right back in it's the community. Exactly. I'm not exactly. taking a dime from this. Yes. I'm putting in my service because I am a Jamaican, 100%, and not just to look views, <laughs> but put in the work. Everybody looking views. Yeah, man, with up on the ground, I put in the work. Just like yes. for you on the ground, yes, I put man. in the work. Absolutely. 
So it's another reggae month. Uh, Phenomena. Event. And to me, it looks like it's going to be an annual event for us. Most definitely, month. most definitely. Yeah. And we'll move it from different communities to different mm -hmm. communities. Mm -hmm. While um, William King Alice will be in Jamaica, he'll be visiting a number of other communities. Mm -hmm. One of the communities you know that you gotta bring him here. Coco most God, definitely, most them. definitely. Right. <laughs> he's gonna visit the community of Tivoli Gardens. Ah, Particularly Rasta City. City. The yes. foundation of Rastafari. Yes. And he's so uh, 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 enthused. I have to big up Razzle Dazzle, wherever you oh, are. Razzle Dazzle, bless up yourself. <laughs> is instrumental in this. So we big up Mr. Razzle Dazzle, yes. anywhere yes. you are. Yes. Dilly from Denham Town, big up because we're going to be going through these communities, south side, different, different oh, areas. Oh, 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 you know oh, what I mean? Oh, yeah. A pain land. So it's going yes. to be a joy. A joy just to have him here yes. and sharing his experience with Jamaican people. And with people. Jessica, oh my God, what? Uh, that's really the king, the king of the queen. The king of the queen. You know how she is already. It's going to be really amazing. Yakum. And we want to say, Yakum. Yakum, Yakum. Oh, I'm so lucky to see her. I'm she so excited be, about yeah. that, yeah. Congratulations. Thank you so much. The great work you've been doing over Thank here. you. You know, we really salute you. It's a thankful thank Thursday, you. and we thank you. Thank you thank so you. much. And it's an honor for me to do it. It's like nothing. Yeah. It's, it's if I don't do something for my country every single day, it, it takes away from me. Yeah. And I'm not a young man. I'll be 63 years old come July 3rd. Wow. But I believe yes. that if we do for self, if we start loving each other, you know what I mean? The more on the Dokono kind of love. The blue dress type of love. The whole ginger kind of love. The saril kind of love. You know what I mean? The Aki and Sarkis kind of love. Oh, wow. <laughs> and them kind of love that we want to get back to. The Asham. You remember Asham? Asham kind of love. And it's there. It's not gone away. We want to take time out also and big up Little Lenny. You remember? Chi, Chi, Chi got it. Little Lenny is a tremendous force. He's supporting us 100%. So, Little Lenny, wherever you are, man, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much for the support. Not just financially, but morally, you know. And there are a lot of other people that support. I want to big up my friend Carl Anderson from Mystic Plaza. He's down there on Agla Park Road with oh, Wapping oh, yeah, Right. Yeah. So, Carl Anderson, big up yourself, man. He's a tremendous tower mm -hmm. of strength for me. And um, he has assisted us in times gone by with Shanika Anderson. You remember that little six-year-old girl? Mm -hmm. 14 years now and we have not heard anything in regards to a killer or killers mm -hmm. there's also another 10 year old little boy by the name of courtney walker yeah. that has been murdered 10 years ago stabbed over 57 uh. times sodomized both of these children were sodomized one 14 years old one 14 years ago and one uh 10 years ago and the killers are still roaming the streets mm -hmm. So we appeal to Jamaicans to look out for what picking with them. They are yes, our children. Yes, yes, Make yes. sure you pay attention. I'm an informer for child <laughs> molester. They <laughs> them say informer for do They them say, but that's what, kill big stone there. It can never talk. If yeah, you see your molesting a little picnic, yeah, or, or take a little picnic on the picnic, even if it's you are the parent, and we see the child is in a, an uncomfortable situation, yes. make we check it out and find I'm out. Walk yeah, walk yeah, walk on. It's yes, better safe yes, than sorry. Yes, yes. You know what I mean? We we'll have to. We we'll have to take it up. It's, it's, if we don't do it, who's gonna do it? Exactly. We have. We can't depend on government for this. No. As era leaders, we have to, as individuals, do what we have to do. Most definitely. Because community activists. I want to big up on the mother of Shanika Anderson, Ruth Green. Mm -hmm. Hang in there, Ruth. Ruth, we love you so much. We love your daughter. 14 years now. I'm still there with you. Roma Taylor, all the way in 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 St. Thomas, Bamba River. We love you then. We still love you now. We know closure must come one day. Yes, yes. Trust me. We just have to be persistent and we just have to keep going and keep these children in our prayers and in our hearts and in our minds and support whatever cause that comes forward. It is so sad. It is so sad. I wanna I wanna shout out yeah, I wanna shout out to Javine Campbell. She recently buried her little son Benjamin Bear. Remember the garbage truck that overtook? We did an extensive funeral uh uh uh, what you call it, we interviewed a lot of people who covered the funeral from start to finish right. and people from all over the world come in with gifts to Jafine and whoever, Rome or Roma Taylor, she needs help. She's sick to since the killing of her son. Right. You know what I mean? Ruth Green is not doing so well either. 
So well, thank you for this so platform. Work, you know, I'm, I'm happy that you're able to come and also come, remind us also, because a lot of times these things happen, you right. become a nine-day wonder, and nobody remembers about it. Exactly. And these people are, I mean, the parents or the family members are indeed suffering, True. the community is suffering. So True. we like updates as to what thank is taking place in our community, and we also want solutions as well. We have thank solutions. you. We have solutions. Thank you. So thanks again, my brother. Thank you so much. Big John, Claude Sinclair in the house. As a last minute reminder, February 22nd, Black History Month, Reggae Month, mm -hmm. at the Tony Spalding Stadium in Army Garden, One Love Jamaica. Let's bring One Jamaica, love Jamaica back Jamaica. to love. Yes. Thank you for having me. I love you so Thank much, you. Denise. Love you too. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Right here on 96.1.